Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cam. This week, we're joined by Veggie Wagon and MTG Nerd Girl of Decked Out to play some CEDH. Hey guys, I'm MTG Nerd Girl. Today, I'm going to be playing my very first CEDH game, so wish me luck. But if you would like to find my other content, you can also find me on Decked Out and MTG Nerd Girl on all other platforms. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Veggie Wagon. I'm the co host of your other favorite EDH gameplay show, <laughs> Decked Out. You can find me personally most places on the internet under Veggie Wagon. This video is brought to you by Dragon Shield. Check out the affiliate link down below to help support the show. So we have Veggie Wagon on Snake Nimrus V5. Cam is on Thrasios Brews Hit the Snooze. I'm on our patron Joey Aaron's Duretti List, Stations of Destruction, and MTG Nerd Girl is on Najila. <laughs> A All snake right. eyes for me. Nice. You're off to a great start, Dylan. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my wow. god. Spike feeders. I need to have a conversation Betrayed. with you. Trade. Oh, snake eyes for me. You're kidding me. You're kidding. What the oh, fuck? Edgy, I swear to god, if Did I ever, don't three people snake really? Eyes, be upset. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> three people are all snake eyes. The hell? Okay, okay. Here we go. Okay, phew. So yeah. close. It, you know, that was close. <laughs> yeah, the fact that, that was it was 50% of the way there. That was like the most wholesome opening we've ever had. What are the odds also? Three snake eyes? Out of all right. of the dice roll, there was eight total dice. Seven of them were a one. That's crazy. What? All right, I got a yeah, second I seven. I got a second seven that I will keep too. I will keep this six. Good nice. luck. Have fun. I will draw. Oh, beautiful. Play a scalding tarn. And I will crack it, go to 39, and Underground C. I will pass. I'll draw a card. Oh, that's a card. All right, I will play a Windswept Teeth, and I will crack it, going down to 39, a Tropical Island. Birds of Paradise right here. Go ahead. Excellent. I will draw a card, Jeweled Lotus, and I'll play an Ancient Tomb. Hmm. Huh. And I will lose two life and crack the Jeweled Lotus for red, leaving one colorless floating. I'm going to cast Duretti. Grab Savant. Comes in with three, I'll plus to five. I'm going to discard Salvaging Station, Wild Magic Surge. And then I'll draw two. I will pass my turn. All right. Forbidden Orchard. Tap Forbidden Orchard. I'm going to give Veggie the spirit because I think you're going to attack Duretti with it. Yeah, collusion. The taxiing probe. And I'm going to target the person with the planeswalker. Here's my hand. All right. Got it. Draw a card. Pass the turn. All right. At the end of your turn, I'm going to cast the Vampire Tutor. Here's my card that will go on top. I will untap and draw my card, whatever it is. Play this Mana Crip. Huh. Mm. Huh. I'm going to go to combat. I'm going to send this spirit at Duretti. Duretti goes to four. Tap the mana crypt for an arcane signet. Pass the turn. Here's mine. I will draw. I will play a plateau. Ristic study. I will pass the turn after it resolves then. Upkeep. Draw card. I will plus Duretti. Discard mountain and dragon's rage channeler and draw two. Mountain for turn. Goblin welder. And I'll pay two life with ancient tomb going down to 36 to help pay for the ristic study. I'm going to mental misstep back. Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, I am. Yeah, you got it. That's it for me. I passed my turn. I must have just drawn that mental misstep for the turn because I don't know why I wouldn't have used that on a vampiric tutor instead. Goblin Welder is still a very juicy target for that. Yeah, target the mono red guy. Sure. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just play a Savannah and an Avacyn's Pilgrim. May I draw a card? Pay and I'll let Veggie have another spirit. I'll pass the turn. Attack the Duretti. Oh, certainly. Let's see if I get cryptid. Odds I'll take damage. Yeah. Draw my card. I'm going to play a Snow Island. Steel Enchantment targeting Ristic uh -oh. Study. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't like where this is going at all. I love where this is going. May I draw a card? I will pay. That sounds awesome. Woo! You get the Ristic Study. That feels great. I excluded Steel Enchantment from my list, and I might be second guessing that right about now. I'm thinking a lot about this play. I have been thinking a lot about this play all Honestly, week. Honestly, so have I. This is a very good interaction. I am thinking about this card. I mean, the more that we talk about Ristic Study and Mystic Remora being like the linchpin, right? right? These humongous value pieces that just impact the game so much, maybe we should be playing more Steel Enchantments. I'll go to combat and I'd like to send two spirits at Duretti. Two spirits coming in, Duretti's at four. Pass. All right, I'll go to my I feel turn. feel very happy with myself. <laughs> I will draw. I'll play an Emergence Zone and I'll go blue, green, and cast Thrasios, Pain, Foristic Study. And then I will pass the turn. Go to me, untap. Draw a card, play this Mountain. I'm gonna plus two Duretti, but I'm only gonna discard one Scalding Tarn to draw one. 
one card. I'll pay another two life off of the Ancient Tomb. I'm going to cast this Curse Mirror, but I'm not going to have it come in as a copy of anything. Christic? I mean, you may draw that one card. Yes. Oh. Wow. That's it from me. I'll pass turn. Suspicious, though. What do you want two red for? That's what I'd like to know. So I'm just going to go ahead and play my commander. Cameron, you're going to get a spirit. Uh, veggie, nice. I will not pay for the Rhystic Study. That's it for me. I'll pass turn. I'm already loving this two mana Rhystic Study. Going to roll. It's another six. I'll draw. I'll play an Urza Saga. I guess first, let's go to combat. I will send these two spirits once again at Dreddy. Understood. Dreddy goes to four. Cast my commander, Nimrus, Unus Trickster. I will pass the turn. I will draw. I think I'm just going to pass, actually. End of turn. I'm going to cast Red Elemental Blast targeting the Rhystic Study, and I'll pay for it. I'll fight you on it. I'm going to cast Misdirection, exiling Dress Down. Cam, you're up first. Do you want to help? Yeah, I do, actually. Activate Thrasios real quick. I'll bottom this card. Reveal Noxious Revival. We'll put a Fierce Guardianship on the stack, targeting the Misdirection, although I also believe you have a Nimrus Trigger. I do, yeah. I have a Nimrus Trigger on, on the stack as well, and now a Rhystic Study Trigger. Which I cannot pay for. I will draw my card. Fierce Guardianship sounds good. A Nimrus trigger. I'll put that in my hand and put a Chrome Mox into the bin. I'm good to pass priority on that blast. We did it, Dylan. Untap, upkeep. I'll play Inventor's Fair as my land for turn. Minus two Derevi after I tap this Curse Mirror for a red and sacrifice it to return target artifact from my graveyard to the battlefield. I'll return the salvaging station. Um, or I'll try to. Do you want a Noxious Revival? <laughs> I will spend two life to cast Noxious Revival going down to 35. You got it. Joey, I'm really sorry that we keep doing this to your deck but I think that's a testament as to how scared we are of it. Don't worry, I have a plan. This was all part of the plan. We're good. Let's do a risky move, but now I'm afraid. So I'm going to lose two more life with the Ancient Tomb and cast Wheel of Fortune because I have two cards and y'all have so much more than me. So I want to level the playing skill. Man, I should have cast this Dockside earlier. Shit. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I can let that stand. See, that was I was afraid of because I feel like you haven't done much, Nerd Girl. I feel like you're close to doing something. The counter spells are out of the other player's hands. Yeah. I'm going to discard the Mind Break trap for the Ooh. force of negation. I have a, Ooh. I have something for this. Miraculously, I'm going to cast Tabalt's Trickery. No fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> Targeting that force of negation. I mean, at this point, if I'm going to wheel anyway, I guess I might as well just get rid of it. Toss mental misstep for the oh. force of will. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh. Wasn't prepared for all that. Force of yeah. will counters the Tabalt's Trickery. Wheel of Fortune is force of negated, so it's exiled. Pass the turn. Felt so safe with that Tibalt's Trickery. <laughs> I really thought I was doing something there. <laughs> Also, a couple of those blue cards should have been exiled to the forces. It doesn't really come up. It doesn't matter. I'm going to play a Jeweled Lotus. I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and attack Duretti. A uh, 1-1 one, one Warrior will come into play. Also, go after the Duretti Controller. Yeah, no effects. Duretti dies and I take one. Pass the turn. At the end of your turn, I'm going to cast the Mystical Tutor. I'll have a Nimrus Trigger first. I will pitch this offer you can't refuse. And then Mystical Tutor will resolve. I mean, yeah, I'm not... I'm not fooling anybody. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna search for this demonic consultation. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And I'm gonna go to untap. On your upkeep. But before you draw, I'm gonna attempt to cast silence. Nice. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, I'll give you silence. So no spells for me this turn. I, I do have a crypt. I'll take three. Silence is a pretty heads up play here. Since Veggie just showed that he had demonic consultation, there's a good chance that Athas's Oracle is somewhere close behind. It's putting me to 34. I'm going to go to draw this demonic consultation. Urza Saga will go to two. I'll play this swamp. I will pass the turn. I'll get a draw. I'll play a Taiga. Throw out a Dockside Extortionist. So I'll get four down to three treasures because I can do math because it's Eternal Witness. Maybe yeah. it's just Fierce Guardianship. As much as I do want Rhystic Study, I don't think I can afford to have everyone pay for the spells that they cast on their turns and then I don't have the chance to get something else. So I will get back Fierce Guardianship. Draineth Magistrate. Pass turn. Untap. Draw a card. I don't gain life because I don't have enough artifacts. Play a Mountain. Cast Salvaging Station. Lose two off of the Ancient Tomb. Go to 29. I'll pass my turn. I hit a land finally. Huzzah. Move to combat. Dylan, you are open, so I'm going to have to attack you. So we're going to come in with a Najila plus the Warriors making two more. Wonderful. I will declare no blocks and no effects. Take six. Go to 23. Pass there. At the end of your turn, I'm going to try to resolve a Notion Thief. <laughs> <laughs> Nimrus <laughs> trigger also on the stack. No responses. Even if I get my Duretti out, it doesn't even even do anything. <laughs> <laughs> No responses for me. I'll look at the top two. All right, we'll put this command tower in the 
graveyard and keep that card. Notion Thief hits the board and I will go to untap. Crypt, odds, damage. I'm going to take another three, go to 31. Then I will draw my card. Urza Saga will go to three. I will float one mana and go looking for an artifact. We're just going to find a graph digger's cage. I was supposed to do something in response to the Urza's trigger. Hell yeah, baby. No, uh, no, it doesn't matter. Graph digger's cage doesn't care about that. Heuristic study and the most you gorgeous heuristic study you'll see in your you? life. Yeah. yeah, really. Is this, oh, this is from the new set, right? Yes. I'll just go to combat and uh, notion thief at Dylan. <laughs> yeah, go to 20. Best turn. Nice. Held him off of Thoracle. This is great. <laughs> All right. Go to my turn. I'll pass. Untap. Draw a card. <laughs> Mountain go. Okay. I will untap and draw a card. Sorry, Dylan. I have to go after you again. <laughs> <laughs> You're open. I need to make a, a max totally capacity it. so I can swing at veggie. <laughs> I get you. I got it. No worries. An additional four. 10 damage. I'll go to 10. Cast uh, Diabolic Intent. I'm going to sack oh. one of the soldiers. Would you like to pay one more for that? Yes. Yes, I would, veggie. I'm just going to find my card and then I would be passing the turn. I will untap. Crypt, odds or damage. It is another six. I will draw my card. A Phyrexian Metamorph, Eternal Witness, target Vampiric Tutor. Return that to my hand. Veggie's such a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Which is uh, funny considering that chicken is not a veggie at all. Right. I'll pass the turn. I'm going to Mystical Tutor. I'll pay one for a stick study. I can get Ella Domri's call. There's nothing that says that I can't search and put it into my hand, right? Right. Yeah, there's so nothing in the rulebook that says the dog can't play basketball so yes is that like an air bud reference that is yes. <laughs> <laughs> i love that you know there's also no rule in magic that says that either all right move to my turn and draw eladomri's call and cast eladomri's call would you like to pay one additional i would love to pay an additional mm -hmm. here's cannon cast the cannon Ristic. you can draw i will tap this treasure and crack it for two blue tap birds for two blue leaving one blue floating and I will cast a Basalt Monolith. You have one card in hand. We know it's a Fierce Guardianship. Correct, yes. Pay for Ristic Study. That's what I was going to say. We could wait to see if uh, <laughs> that, but but now yeah. we don't have to wait. That is, uh, I believe, your third spell of the turn. Uh-oh. So I'm going to Mind Break Trap. Oh, that's so funny, yeah. I'll have to uh, Fierce Guardianship that then. Okay, just and just marking that I do have a Nimrus Trigger on the stack. I'm going to respond to the Nimrus trick. And there's a Ristic gotcha. study also? Now there is, yeah. Yeah, I can't pay for the Ristic study. I will take my card. I'm going to tap the Orchard and give Dylan a 1-1 one, one Spirit. And I'm going to cast Swan Song targeting the Fierce Guardianship. And I will give you a 2-2 two, two Bird instead. Nice. I will take the 2-2 two, two Bird. I will resolve my Nimrus trigger. Okay, I will put a Gemstone Caverns in the graveyard. Which means that the trap will exile the Basalt Monolith then. I'm out of everything. I will pass the turn. I'm going to activate the Salvin Station and bring this non-creature artifact from my graveyard into play, which I'm allowed <laughs> to do. And then go to my turn, draw a card. Foundry Inspector, Ristic Study, you got it. I'll pay for with the Inventor's Fair. And that will be it. Pass my turn. I will untap and draw. And we're going to cast... The Revy Imperial Tactician. There's a Ristic Study trigger on the stack. I'll pay it. That seems not good. I would agree. I did, in fact, save <laughs> nice. a piece of oh, interaction. Ooh. What a game. I'll cast Force of Will. I'll pitch this Mystic Remora targeting Derevi, and I'll go down to 30. That is going to resolve. I can't do anything about it. I will get another Nimrus trigger. Put a Polluted Delta in the bin. Hey, the only thing I think I can do here is, unfortunately, attack Dylan for six, <laughs> making it 12. Even if I block them all, I'm dead. I won't block any. I'm dead. All right, well, I killed someone in my first EDH game. I'll take it. <laughs> hey. That is the end of my turn. I will pass. At the end of your turn, I would like to cast this Vampiric Tutor. I think you have the win, Veggie. Oh boy, do you got, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, hellbent. I'm hellbent. I think you you got this cleaned up. Yeah, I, I will go to 28. One more piece of interaction. You're and kidding. Then... <laughs> <laughs> Not that it matters too much. I'm, no, I'm, I'm... I'm pretty confident on, on this. <laughs> Untap, Mana Crypt, odds or damage. It is a four. I will draw my card. I will play this Clearwater Pathway. I'm going to pay two for the Thassa's Oracle that I just hit off of <laughs> that last Nimrus trigger. <laughs> <laughs> and then if that resolves, I will play this Demonic Consultation. 
Did you not have the win until I then? did not have that the win. The Bam Tutor was to so get the last part of it. Okay. Funny. Oh my god. Just Demir doing Demir stuff. Tutors and card draw are very powerful, and uh, Veggie used all of those things very efficiently. Not only that, but he was very good with his timing as well, too. He threw off all of us by tutoring for Demonic Consultation at a time we expected him to win the game, which I think probably influenced my decision to get a counterspell from my graveyard then, too. Yeah, he could just keep on deploying card advantage engines while you had to search for counter spells to stop him and eventually the tempo laid out that you know when you have notion thief and ristic study and, and all this mana and a nimrus doesn't matter what you're winning with it could be a ham sandwich just thoughts oracle consult is the easiest yeah good win nimrus is really good thank you so much for watching if you'd like to support us directly you can do so on patreon like our 100 dollars patrons mark cirillo zachary nelson she doesn't even go here joey aarons socal acura storm again cool bean man luke cook AJ Avosebi, Demon of Rosgris, Kawaja A. Hamid, Lauren Connell, and Baby G Bus. If you'd like to pick up any of our merch, you can do that at playtoinmtg.com. Thank you so much, Dragon Shield, for supporting the show. Make sure you use our affiliate link down below to get all of your awesome Dragon Shield needs. Follow us on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram for more content. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Did you notice we were wearing the same Scry Baby shirt today? Fuck! <laughs> I was literally, I was thinking what would happen if Cam wore the same shirt? That's not likely. Should we thank our $50 patron? Sway V. Hashira, Dalton Potit, Kadanis, Lutri's Dad, Stashes, Justin, Man Solo, Pedro, Jacob Depp, Michael Ballou, Jan Wildfang, Thomas Bueno, Swampy McGee, David Nelson, and Jor Mags. Thanks. Silence is a pretty heads up play since Veggie just showed that he got it to Monica. Oh, that Go get the Jack and Joe shirts. Yada da da da. Yada da da da. It's the motherfucking D O double G. Who is that, Snoop Dogg? Motherfucker, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maximum effort. That's all we can do is our best.